Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 4 Beer Pro Korea, and uh, we're continuing on in our NRL debut season, which is uh, very exciting. We're going to be taking on the Canberra Raiders in round two, so we got a win last start against the Warriors in a, in a bit of a thriller, 13 points to 12, went to, went to golden point, I'm pretty sure, didn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it did, and it, uh, and we kicked the, the winning field goal, so we had a we had an outstanding first game debut match. Um, looking at this Raiders lineup, it's uh, pretty strong. Le uh, Le Lewis still there, Mitch Moses, Austin. So uh, good forward back. Junior Paulo is still at the Raiders in this career mode. Um, yeah, that's that's a good team, dude. So they they snagged Mitch Moses from uh, from us. So yeah, it should be. Uh, I mean, honestly, on paper. You'd have to, you'd have to say the Raiders have the the superior outfit in this match, but you know, with us at the helm, even though we are the the five eight rather than the the halfback, as Latrell straight through gets a beautiful ball back to us. There's Raiders converging. We try to link up with the inside man, but a little ankle tap from Jared Croker held off the held off the pass. But a good a uh, good little early line break, and that man Latrell is going to be the. The key factor in a lot of these games, I mean, he's on the opposite side to us, but we can always sort of support up the middle if he makes any breaks. There's a, a neat little kickback on the inside there. Unfortunately, our chasers didn't really put a, put in much effort at all, which was unfortunate because we had a we had a good chance to get a repeat set of six. There's a fantastic ball. Luciane tries to throw the miracle ball back on the inside. A little bit, uh, a little bit of a rush of blood there. I mean, it's wet. Wet weather footy, uh, no no need for that. Just take the tackle, go to ground, and we can reset for the next couple of plays. But, you know, Luciano, he's a, he's a freakish player. He's, I wouldn't even call him Roxler Diamonds because he's just pretty solid in general. And then he's got some freakish uh, skills on top of it. As, uh, unfortunately, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us because Jack One is going to go over for the first try of the game. It was a good kick. Um putting pressure on our outside backs and the bat down was uh, was pretty pretty perfect. Jack one very tough to stop that close to the line. Just a little bit of footwork. Able to beat uh, beat the oncoming defense and scoring uh, scoring the first point. So Raiders up early, although uh, you know, closing on a half time, we've we probably I mean we've had a couple of good chances. The Raiders have only had that one real opportunity and uh, and scored a, a four pointer or a six pointer I should say. So not not uh, not great for our defensive work, but I still think we have we have plenty of points in our team. As that is a good kick downfield, it's perfectly placed. Thankfully, Bevan French was able to round it up before I think it was a big Corey Horsburgh steaming down on him. And uh, it looks like we are going to go to half time with uh, with a six point deficit, unless the Raiders can uh, can score up. <laughs> score another try before the break. Hopefully that does not happen. Should be the last play right here. They're going to go right, looking to link up. That's a good ball. Oh, Joey. I thought for a second he was going to beat Brad Takarangi. He's, uh, you know, he's much maligned, Joey Lelua. I love watching him play. Um, you know, he does some silly things, but he's, he's entertaining and he is a very good player. So, one-on-one, -on -one, I, I don't, I honestly don't think there's a stronger center in the game. And I know, you know, you could argue, I mean, Joey Manu is strong and Katoni Staggs, but I don't know. I, th I Honestly, I think Joey Leilua, one-on-one, -on -one, I, I, I actually think he's the hardest man to put down, just, just solid contact, but um. That, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure people would debate that for days. <laughs> so, uh, gonna come back for the for the second half here, looking to just get a little bit more consistent. Trying to put in a little kick. It's picked up there by our back row, putting the chip and chase in. We're gonna win the race with the ball, and I think we scored a miraculous try to start the second half. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of a shambolic little last tackle option. I don't really know what happened. It it sort of looked like the player. The back row, I think it was Luciane again. It looked like he might have been offside when he, he picked up the footy. It got, it got ricocheted a few times, but it uh, it got let go. Um, he was able to get the pass back to us. And yeah, the uh, the little chip and chase. We are going to have a look at the replay because I was a bit... Um, yeah, I didn't really know what happened here. So yeah, we put the kick in. Is he offside? No, I think, I think he's good. I think he's good. And then it comes off... 
it wasn't it wasn't Luciano it was uh the lock but um yeah it was it was scramble it, it ricocheted a couple of times as who is this Jack White back up the middle he's playing a fullback instead of 5-8 which um you know he was a great fullback I still think uh he could honestly 5-8 or fullback I think one is exceptional so I don't you know, either either way, he could he could make a make a difference. It's right there. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have called for it. I I, I didn't think Mitchell was going to take him on the outside. Otherwise, he was probably going to be away for the try. I thought he was going to take the tackle, so I was trying to call for the pass. And then on the back of that, almost scoring Jack Wyden, Takarangi with an absolute try saver. And then the ball here. What has happened? What is, what are you doing? <laughs> Pick the footy up. What was that? Surely they scored. I. We're, we're going to have a look at this one for sure. I, I don't know how they didn't score this. Um, the pass gets knocked back. And, I mean, either that's a knock-on by the Raiders or he's or he's scored. I mean, it came off like his... I guess it came off his torso, but, I mean, that's that's a grounding in the, in the rule book. You can ground it with your torso. So, uh, yeah. A bit hard done by, maybe, but it might have been a little knock-on. I'm not, I'm not too sure. It was a, a, a touch-and-go decision, and the ref is... He's gone with the most weird decision that was a dropout <laughs> I don't know how he got that uh, conclusion but we are able to hold them out right there so still six apiece it was a, a good fight back at the start of this half it's been a bit of a slog ever since as uh who was that Kane Evans straight through we're looking for the support but uh again good scramble by the by the Canberra boys to to round us up but uh 10 minutes to go, we're in a, we're in a good little chance here to maybe slot a sneaky field goal, although we're looking to go left here, and so we might be in a bit of a bit of a rough spot to, to try and go for one, so we didn't uh, didn't bother as uh, looking to swing it wide here. Looks like we might be we might be going into a second golden point game in a in a row here. It's gonna go back to us on the third tackle. No, it's not because we are not part of this uh, this game. Um, <laughs> I called for the little chip and chase just just to do something but you know I've, I've talked about it before but that's always annoying when the little glitch happens where your player doesn't sort of they call for the pass but they don't pass it to them but it's, uh, we come back for the golden point here beautiful ball across who was at the big front rower all he had to do was find us on the inside oh my goodness I, I, I didn't think I was over over the play I thought I was in the line perfectly for the pass that was the ball game right there. Absolutely squandered. But uh, we get another chance. Third tackle. Nice ball across there. Almost hitting the hole. Brad Takarangi getting on the outside of Joey there. He can be a little lazy in defense, Joey. <laughs> but it's uh, fifth and last. Probably, well, it's going to be our last play in the in the first half of Golden Point. So this is going to be our moment right here. We go for the one point. It's come off the head of one of the Raiders plays. Goes back to us again. It's still last tackle. We put the little grubber and get the pass away. Oh, my goodness. Oh, maybe we should have tried to sneak a field goal. But uh, the, the defense was there. Panicked happened. And I... You know, if he could have just passed it or anything, try time. But we're gonna go. We're gonna be going another five minutes in this uh, in this golden point. So we we've had two chances now, two very very golden chances in golden point. But uh, not uh, not being able to make them pay could really come back to bite us as Jack Wyden makes it up the middle there. So four tackle. They're definitely gonna look for a field goal here. It's gonna go back to who is that? Dakawaka, Dakawaka. <laughs> I've no idea, dude. But fifth and last, we've got to rush over out of the line. Is Blake Austin? Oh my god, <laughs> my play. So you're gonna think like, why the hell did I just miss him? But it was sort of like pushed away. It was like a magnet, but the opposite of a magnet. <laughs> it was like pushing me away. Oh, the Raiders get the win. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.